How immediate is COVID to South Africa? And what is the COVID illness look like for South Africa in the next six months? We, we thank you very much for the opportunity and your viewership. Uh, so far, so good. The, the last time I look, we seem to have everything tapering out or going down. Uh, I guess that's the reason we lifted the restrictions uh, totally in as far as COVID is concerned and encourage people to actually keep on staying alert on the communicable diseases in the old uh, traditional way. Although I've just heard this morning, uh, which is during the day in South Africa, that we seem to have found a new subvariant, mm -hmm. and uh, it's something that we're going to look up to. But so far, so good. We are on a recovery course post-pandemic, um, dealing with the economy, which is even weaker than it was before pandemic, although we can right. say with confidence that the, the recent indicators have demonstrated that we are actually on the border of leveling up with the pre-pandemic situation. From where you sit and with your nursing experience, you when you walk in a room, you're the boss in the room on COVID. I can see that with your nursing experience. Is China getting it right or is the Western world, is the United States getting COVID right? Um, we, we've been more focused at what we're doing at home. Yeah. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, South Africans have responded very positively uh, with regard to staying more alert than before COVID, mm -hmm. knowing that uh, epidemiological diseases are always um, right. a phenomenon to stay worried about, access to water, clean water, keeping on washing hands, because the issue of virus is an issue that is not predictable. Long ago and far away, a boat went around the bottom of South Africa, and it was a 5,000-mile trek to Sri Lanka. Now the images of Sri Lanka collapsing are tangible. You have a South African rand in disarray like many other emerging markets. How immediate is the, the food, the inflation, the eco economic unrest in South Africa? Is it something you're focused on urgently, or can you manage these challenges forward? Well, the uh, socioeconomic situation in our country continues to be a huge threat. Uh, worse now with the global environment, in particular big economies like the United States, having high inflation, which has got a potential spillover. Mm -hmm. But what encourages us is that uh, the forecast of South African Reserve Bank give us a data in projection of about... Uh, um, 5.7, point, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 5.0, 4.9, 5.7, and 4.7 right. at the third year. In other words, everything is within uh, the range mm -hmm. uh, in as far as the forecast of inflation right. is concerned. Nothing is above six, as our range is between three and what right. we call and six. And of course, um, the, the treasury's o o projection outlook uh, gave us 2.1 growth mm -hmm. this year, uh, which is expected to average at 1.8, right. depending on uh, consumer expenditure well, and so on. It is a day to remember Nelson Mandela. You will travel from Bloomberg down to the United Nations uh, to attend uh, a different uh, events there in honor of Mr. Mandela. He was as anti-corruption as, as any of us have ever seen. You have an African continent riven by different levels of corruption. What can your government do to make South Africa be much more away from corruption and much more towards the practice of legal, uh, legal affairs? Uh, this is one area we assist with, uh, especially in memory of his commitment to clean government, to prosperous humanity, to human cohesion. We, we've demonstrated, in particular, when this president took over in 2018, uh, taking into account we were actually confronted with state capture for no less than 10 years. Mm -hmm. When this president took over in 2018, the immediate thing he 
attended to was to look at the prosecutorial institution. Is it better now? Uh, it's, it's improving. It's not yet where we want it to okay. be. That's why we are amassing energy within the public and the private sector, wow. trying to work with the private sector right. to amass resources so that we improve right. procedural capacity. And the other issue is that uh, Zondo Commission, which has been dealing with the state capture, this president did uh, what is unprecedented, mm -hmm. did, not okay. ed did not edit it, just threw it in the website right. as he plans to put together well, an implementation plan.